what is up guys welcome back to another video which today we're going to be doing a top five best Wii slash Wii U games now I was just w wondering what I could do for a top 10 and I love the Wii and the Wii U so that I could do my top 10 favorite games on just each in the same list top they either one could be on the this list so yeah and just this is my own opinion so if your favorite game isn't on here don't blow up I don't know but yeah, let's um let's get into this video. are a little screwed up so i already know what you're going to say super mario brothers 3 was on the snes well i'm not talking about that one i'm talking about the remastered version on the wii the um the uh super mario all-stars now you know i may have played um a little bit of this game on um my ch or a little bit when i first started my channel and that series didn't last too long but overall super mario 3 is where mario started getting really good because the first Mario Bros., although it was good, got really tedious to play. Like, it's really fun, but, like, it is really annoying to play sometimes. Where this game, it has a lot of fun levels. Like, my some of my favorites are the Giant World. That's I think that's uh, World 4? World 4 or 5. One of those two, but those are some of my favorite worlds. And it was one of the Mario games. It, some of the levels are brutal. Like, World 8, like, Airships, those ones are brutal. But they're so satisfying when you complete... And this is one of my favorite Mario games out there. And, yeah, I I love Super Mario Bros. 3. And, yeah, let's get into number 4. I've got Super Smash Brothers Wii U. Now, I know this game has been out for a while, and we have a way better version on the Switch, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, but I don't got a Switch, so I've got to go with this one. And just for a little bit, I played a lot of Brawl, like, before I got this game, and when it first came out, I really wanted to get it, so I did save up the money to buy it, and it is awesome. Like, a lot of people really didn't like it just because there was no story, but really, it doesn't matter. They had a lot of fan service put into this game. Like, some of the new characters are great. Like, I really love that Pac-Man was in this game. My personal main is Ness. Um, but yeah, I loved all the new characters. Little Mac, Mega Man, Palutena. I can't say it. And this is just one of my favorite crossover games that I just enjoy so much. And... It's really fun to play. It can get really intense if you're playing with friends and family. Like, I play it a lot with my cousins, and matches can get pretty intense. And, uh, yeah. There's only one problem I have with this game, and that's just simply that when you first get it, you pretty much start with everything. Now, I know it's like, yeah, you get to start with everything right away, but I personally don't like that. I want to unlock stuff as we start, but no. But other than that small problem, this game is still amazing, and one of the better games on the Wii U. So with that, let's move to number three. Alright, so at number three we have Super Mario Maker. Now I got this game not too long ago actually. Um I just picked it up and this game is amazing. One of Oh my god, I don't know, when I first got it, I was so, I was having so much fun, I built so many fun levels, that you know I've uploaded a few videos of Mario Maker, and it's just such a unique unique game that I thought would have been out around way before this came out, just because it's a no, no brainer, that should be a game, like, designing your own Mario levels, but it, it they, I guess they took quite a while just because they wanted to make it good, and it is amazing like there's so many customizations available like i love making mini boss levels sometimes really long levels and like you can play other people's levels and their levels are some level a lot of the levels are pretty crappy but there's a, 
a select few people who are actually make good Mario Maker levels, and they're really fun to play. And I am excited for the new one to come out, and if I ever get the Switch, that is my number one game uh, on the Switch. Number two is Smash Ultimate, but number one is Mario Maker 2. And so with that, let's move to number two. So, at number 2, we have Mario Kart Wii. So, my second top 10 on this channel was top 10 in Mario Kart Wii tracks, and I love this game very much. I know I say that about every, but I really do. Like, this, I love all these games. Like, this is probably the best one. Like, Mario Kart 8, other than how it looks, it really sucked. Like, they did really good with Mario Kart Wii, and then Mario Kart 7 was decent, because I played a bit of it. I did, not with my 3DS, but my friend let me borrow his to play it. And, but then they got to 8, and I was like, no, I don't like it. But Mario Kart Wii it has a good character roster, good cards, tons of great tracks. I love courses like Mushroom Gorge, Mario Su D DK Summit, not Mario Summit. And, like, a great ro roster. My favorite characters to play are Dry Bones, Daisy, and King Boo. And the multiplayer in this game is awesome. You get to mess with your friends during the race, keep throwing banana peels and red shells. And it's a one of my favorite games out there, like... I should honestly call this list top 10 Nintendo list, because even the number one, it's all Nintendo stuff. That's what I'm going to, I should probably call it that. But, yeah, like, this game is probably, the best, in my opinion, the best Mario Kart week, because I've played, like, Mario Kart Super Circuit at a friend's house. They own the old one. But, like, this one is probably going to be one of the, remain my favorite for a while. And, uh, yeah, let's get to number one. <laughs> slash Wii U game, I should say Nintendo, is Super Mario Galaxy 2. Now, I'm just going to say I never played the first one, and I really didn't have an interest to until I played this one. Now, Super Mario Galaxy 2 is just so amazing. There are so many unique galaxies. Like, it's just so different compared to other Mario games. It's just 2D platformers. Like, you know what I mean. You just go from point A to point B, and, like, and I know it's like that in Mario Galaxy, but the levels are just so much more... They're more fun to play on, like... You're playing in 3D levels, like, with tons of new enemies, like, w new worlds, and especially the final level. It's There's so much to do in it, and this game probably has the hardest level in Mario today, the perfect run. And I've never even beaten it myself, but... Mario Galaxy 2 is just... I actually am going to play Mario Galaxy 1 and, like, see how it is, but Mario Galaxy 2 is just it, so amazing, so many fun galaxies, and the only thing that I don't like about it is how there's a no multiplayer. One is a, is a star, and I, or a Luma, and I don't like that. I wish there was, like, Mario and Luigi. But, yeah, this is my number one favorite game for the Wii slash Wii U, and um, I know it was a bit of a shorter video today, and... My, um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and if you're looking forward to my next video, my next video may be a review on a movie I might go see, so, just, that may be my next video, so, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and, yeah, have a good day.